Raspberry Pi starter kits are generally all the same. It doesn't really matter which one you buy. That is until now. My name is Ian Buckley and this is the make use of review of the CrowPie portable all-in-one Raspberry Pi starter kit. So in brief, the CrowPie is unique as it is a Raspberry Pi starter kit mounted inside a portable case. The basic version costs $239 and includes a 7-inch HDMI touchscreen along with a huge array of peripherals and components which are soldered onto a custom PCB. As well as the components soldered to the board you get a servo and a stepper motor and the advanced kit that I reviewed also comes with a wireless keyboard and mouse and two game controllers along with a set of headphones. So before we move on let's do the specifications. The CrowPie comes in a 27 by 17.5 by 7 centimeter aluminium ringed ABS case. It weighs 1.4 kilograms and comes in a variety of colors. The advanced kit that I reviewed contains a wireless keyboard and mouse, a micro SD to USB converter, a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus with a 32 gigabyte pre-installed Raspbian micro SD card, some headphones, two game controllers, a USB camera, a 7 inch HDMI touchscreen, a stylus for the touchscreen, a power circuit and LCD module, a 7 segment LED module, a vibration motor, a matrix LED, a light sensor, a buzzer, a sound sensor, a PIR motion sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, a servo interface with a servo, a stepper motor interface with a stepper motor, a tilt sensor, an infrared sensor, a touch sensor, a temperature and humidity sensor, and a relay. We're not done yet. A button array, some extra buttons, an NFC module, some switches for switching between the GPIO modes, which I will talk about in a moment, a small breadboard, the Raspberry Pi itself, some GPIO LED indicators, a microphone, and the custom PCB board that they are all attached to. That's a lot of stuff. The CrowPi is powered via a barrel jack and a provided power supply, but you can also power the whole thing using a micro USB connector. So now that we've listed the huge amount of things they've managed to fit into this little box, onto the important stuff. How does this feel to use? Is it good quality? Well, this kit is beautifully put together. It's obviously been well thought out. It doesn't feel cheap and it is pretty much just set up and go. Now I have a lot of experience with Raspberry Pis and with doing it myself, but I decided to try and come into this as someone who's never done it before. And within five minutes, I was already making things flash and buzz just by following the quick start guide that comes with it. I did actually take this kit round to a friend's house who has children. Uh, of course, I didn't film anything there, but the experience that they had was very similar to mine. CrowPi provides some example sketches on the pre-installed Raspbian card, and they also have some lessons that you can download from the CrowPi site to follow, which takes you through every component that is on the board. To get round the huge amount of things they have put in this and the limited GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi, they have two sets of eight switches, which allow you to switch between different uses for pins. So for example, the button matrix uses uh, GPIO pin 26, I think, and the servo also uses that pin. So you can use one or the other by just flicking between these switches, which is quite a novel way of approaching many components and limited pins. This kit really is perfect for beginners. By adding everything to a custom PCB, they've taken away one of the stumbling blocks that can really stop people from getting into this stuff. If you are trying to learn coding and electronics at the same time, having to set up a circuit can be quite a demoralizing experience. This takes that away. More importantly, everything is already set up the right way around, so you're not going to easily fry the Pi or any of the components on the board while you're using this if you make a mistake. As I mentioned, they also provide two USB game controllers. Now, these are those retro controllers that look a little bit like the controllers from the SNES. There wasn't anything in the quick start guide or the manual about these controllers, but I just took it as a silent advice that I should probably install RetroPie and start playing, and yes, this thing is a fantastic little retro gaming machine. As I've mentioned before, you can power this from the five volt micro USB port, which means that you could technically have this as a portable gaming rig. Now, you'd have to have a pretty beefy power supply to do that, but I thought that was cool in and of itself. I had two considerations going into this review. One of them was, is this thing well designed? And the other one is, is this thing going to be well made? There are so many things that have been kickstarted that seemed wonderful and ended up to be rubbish, frankly. But this thing wins on both counts. It's really well put together, the components aren't shoddy and cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, and the design is really well thought out. So the Pi is kind of shoved into the corner of the case, it's probably the only place they could fit it, but they do give you uh, 90 degree connectors for the 3.5mm jack and also for the HDMI port. The only thing that is a little bit awkward is the micro SD card placement because it's right at the back of the case and as far as I can tell the only way you could replace the system SD card is by unscrewing the Raspberry Pi from the board, taking out the ribbon case, taking out all the connectors, lifting it, taking the micro SD card and then reversing the process once you've replaced it. Elecro provide Python, Minecraft Pi and Scratch tutorials on their website as PDF downloads and all three of these things are uh, adequate I would say. They do suffer a little in translation and the Python tutorial isn't really a coding tutorial as such. 
what it is is a guide to the pre-installed script on the CrowPy. However, in this instance, I don't see that as much of a problem. What this guide teaches you to do is see the components on the board and identify them, and then it will show you some code that will make the component work before telling you the command to type into the terminal to make it work. Now, this isn't going to be teaching anyone anything fast, but what it is doing is getting them used to looking at code, running that code in the terminal, and seeing the hardware react to it, which is the basis of really learning this stuff in the first place. Confusingly, part 20 of the tutorial moves into using the breadboard, and I was excited about this, because having used all of the PCB parts on the board, I was excited about making my own circuit. So it tells you to set up a circuit using an LED and a resistor and some wires, but these things aren't provided in the kit. Uh, I know one of their stretch goals on Kickstarter was to provide these things in the kit, and whether they just forgot, forgot to send them to me or they just don't come in the advanced kit, I don't know. So they mention these things in the tutorial, but they aren't there. They give you game controllers, but don't mention them in the tutorial. It's a very small thing, but I thought it was worth mentioning. Also, the quick start guide talks about lesson 21, which is to do with using the camera that is built into the case, and there is no lesson 21 on the Elecro lessons. Anyway, these are very small points. Remember, this is a Raspberry Pi we're talking about, and there are no shortage of great Raspberry Pi tutorials on the internet and on YouTube channels. Like, for example, maybe the YouTube channel you are watching right now, or at makeuseof.com. That was such a subtle plug, I don't think anyone saw it. <laughs> These small problems aside, let's move on to the cost of the Crow Pi. And again, this is a part that I was a little bit wary of. I thought, okay, so they put together this great box and it works really well, so probably they're charging the earth for it, right? Well, no, actually. The basic kit is $239, as I mentioned. The advanced kit is $329. And uh, just as an experiment, I did some virtual shopping on Amazon and saw what it would cost to buy each one of these parts individually. Leaving out the power supply, leaving out all the connectors, and forgetting about the fact that you have a molded case, all of these parts came to over $260. $260 in parts you would still have to put together yourself, and you still wouldn't have a kit that is quite like the Crow Pi. The $329 asking price seems incredibly reasonable when you bear this in mind. So, having got this thing, having gone through the tutorial myself, having let a friend of mine's child use it, who absolutely loved it, by the way, um, having installed RetroPie on it, and having just done some general day-to-day -day Raspberry Pi things that I would normally do on my home kit, what do I think of this thing? I think it is fantastic. And I think if you are looking for a Raspberry Pi kit, you're going to be really hard pushed to find something better than this right now. If I wanted to introduce the Raspberry Pi to anyone at any age, I would choose this. It's great for learning, it's great for teaching, it's decent value. Right now, I honestly think that the Crow Pi might just be the best Raspberry Pi starter kit on the market. To sum up, the Crow Pi is a unique product, yet despite standing alone, it is really well designed, it is really high quality, and it comes at a good price. I cannot recommend this thing enough. So I hope you enjoyed this review, despite the lack of criticism in it. I just genuinely love the Crow Pi. Um, but thank you so much for watching. We do reviews like this all the time, we also do giveaways, we also have tutorials and tech tips, so if you haven't thought of subscribing to make use of now might be the time to do it. But for now, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. If you're still here, you know we're giving one of these away. So uh, head to the link in the description and enter the code word CROW in order to get extra entries in the competition. For now, thanks once again. Take care. Bye-bye.